today I'm up for some solar panel testing. As you may see in my shirt, I uh, accomplished a sun trip in 2018. And um, with this bike, with those panels, they made 13,500 kilometers and the solar production of about 110 kilowatt hours. Uh, the whole panel. And here on my left, I have a brand new panel. Since I have some power decrease on these panels, I want to test now how much uh, the loss is um, over time. As you and can see, the two watt meters are running. Um, 60 watts, and the other one is 55, so there's a big difference. And you see, uh, I run um, a halogen light bulb and the two meters are in series, so it's not good. That's the new panel. That's the old panel. And don't forget you need to add about 5 watts at the new panel. And they're put in parallel to this battery and charge it. After this first test of my old solar panels I was quite shocked how bad it actually is. So I decided to test all of them. And uh, as you can see the results, um, two of my panels are pretty much gone and two are still fairly okay. So um, it took my panel took uh, quite a lot of damage during my whole trip but I still kept working. Um, in the beginning of my trip I saw one day a peak for a couple minutes over 400 watts on my nominal 360 watt panel so it means the cells are quite good quality. And they uh, hold what they promise, but um, I think it at least 20 times falling over and the accident with Dirk um, did quite some damage to them. An advantage of this panel is its size. It's only 7 by 4 cells, so it's less wide than 1 meter. And also the MPTT voltage is only at 15 volts, so it's uh, suitable very good with a 12 volt lead AC system 